dumplings in Chinese is called jiaozi. Uh, and jiaozi is originally uh, called tender eaters because people would use to actually put them in their ears to treat a uh, frostbite. On a frosty morning, the family separates the dough into small wrappers, fills them with a pinch ball of pork rolled with scallions, sauce, and chives. With water, we seal the dough to half moons over and over till the swelling dumplings fill the counter. It is not money that makes a family rich. The gods have settled into the kitchen, and we have been crowded ever since. I can never grab the pinch quite right, so the half moons don't keep their pregnancy in the boiling water. My grandmother always eats the half moons are ruined first. She alone is left to remember the journey the family made on a boat to reach Seoul from Shandong. Dumplings, the only heirloom she could carry. With an air of constant warning for her son, my uncle says she is quiet and has no favorites. So any story we tell can never be untrue. With each chatter thrown into a dinner pyre, she buries a lot more than the sun over and over. The chives are potent, but enough to ward off the dead. Our relatives who dance with the steam in the distance, we know the shapes of laughter and mind them. My grandmother hangs with the chive ghost in the air. She stares at me with a self-devouring gaze, divided me, divided from me. <laughs> By several oceans, she holds my hands at her wrapped half moons, fills my ears with dumplings. Mm -hmm.